Hey there, this is Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously, you guys. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. How is everybody doing today? Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So we're talking love and marriage, Huntsville, and we are talking about why does everybody hate Mel? What did Melody Cherie do to these people other than provide them an opportunity to be on the show and gain some fame, you guys? I do not understand it. We have um you know stormy's mom acting out of pocket trying to be the new phonics unhooked and saying the things that stormy apparently can't say herself because she can only reply in dms apparently claiming that she has no beef with anybody and that she doesn't have melody sheree's number meanwhile her mom is calling melody sheree every type of name in the book and trying to say that she's nothing and this and that and she didn't bring stormy onto the show and just all this nonsense you guys then we have tisha in the reunion clip basically calling melody sheree the devil and i guess what she calls trying to expose her you guys and of course we know destiny is of no friend to melody sheree right and it's being speculated as the person who allegedly leaked the recording but for some reason stormy got triggered and assumed that melody sheree was talking about her you guys Really, the only person in the cast, I think, at this point that is cool with Melody Sheree is probably Kimmy. Like, real talk. I think everybody else has this scheme, and I think it's a coordinated effort. I think it is a coordinated effort with the Scots, with Destiny, with Stormy, and whoever else that wants to try to take Mel down or feel as though if they gang up on her enough times that she will be so frustrated and upset and quit the show. They are literally trying to ice Melody Sheree out, and since none of their other tactics are working, they have attempted to slander her on social media, hasn't worked. They've tried to slander her in interviews, hasn't worked. They've even tried to bring on other people to slander Melody Sheree, so it doesn't look like they're the puppet master, i.e. another Scott brother trying to gain some fame. They even tried to come for Melody Sheree's mother, Van, to try to get to Mel and try to hurt Mel. Now they're trying to use, you know, the Sheree rumors, um, dating Martel as, you know, some type of, you know, jab to Melody Sheree as if Melody Sheree cares. And it's like whatever is going on between Martel and Sheree Woodfield, that's between the two of them. It has nothing to do with Melody Sheree. The only concern Melody Sheree should have with Martel is their co-parenting of their four children. But as you guys can see, that has blown up in smoke as well, you guys. But... I'm just over it. I'm just tired. Pe what, what these reality stars fail to understand is it's not entertaining television for the viewer to constantly gang up on one person, to constantly have all this vitriol for one person. But then in the same breath, call yourself a good person, call yourself a Christian, call yourself somebody who's humble, but you are being nasty to a particular person instead of being an adult and saying, hey, this is my issue with you. We need to resolve this. Instead, you go behind Melody Sheree's back. You call her every single name in the book and you have no energy for her in her face except for when it's reunion time right except for when it's reunion time when you need to secure yourself for the following season then all of a sudden you want to get buck with melody sheree but any other time people are using their moms they're using their siblings they're using anybody else that they can so that it doesn't look like they're the bad guy when it is clear they're the ones who are feeding them the false intel to come for melody sheree you guys it's everything this season. It is coming for accusing Melody Sheree of, you know, stepping out on Martel and having, um, you know, their youngest child is not, Martel's not the father. Like, it's everything, you know, the Hill Harper rumors. It is, you know, trying to call Melody Sheree out her name, trying to question her parenting as a mother and trying to allude that basically she is only, um, you know, a mom when the cameras are rolling. Like, it's too much, you guys. It is absolutely too much. And all this stems from, you guys, is jealousy. It stems from jealousy because they are upset that Melody Cherie has not struggled since leaving Martel, right? Martel has a little good guys type of, you know, pact with the other fellas on the show so that they can all cover for each other's cheating. 
And since Melody Sheree is not about that life anymore, she's not standing by her man and staying through all the cheating. So now she's an issue. So now she's an issue and she's a threat to expose us. So instead, we're going to continue to slander her. We're going to continue to spread lies about her. So that way, everybody will be on our side. All of the fans will think that Melody Sheree is the problem if all of us band together and keep slandering her and spreading lies about her. And once again, it keeps failing, you guys. It keeps failing because people see through it. People see the truth. The people who didn't like Mel to begin with, none of this was going to change any of that, right? It was just going to give them fuel to the fire to believe the lies. But the Melabiners, the people who see the truth, the people who are objective, the people who are unbiased, the people who see what this show has turned into, see it for what it is and see exactly what they're trying to do. And all this stems from, like I said, is jealousy. Melody Cherie, no matter what they attempt to do, she continues to have her star rising. She continues to be booked and busy. She continues to have all of these businesses. And all of these people thought that they could be the next Melody Cherie. And since it hasn't worked out for them, the only thing they can come up with is banding together to try to get rid of her. And it is lame, it is tired, and it's not entertaining television, you guys. And if this continues through the next season, it, assuming this gets renewed, watch people black out again. Watch people black out again, you guys, after these reunion episodes. Because it's not entertaining television. We already had things escalate to love and hip-hop territory, you know, earlier in the season. And, and now it's just blatant slander, you guys. It is just blatant slander and people are trying to pick and attack anything that they can to try to turn things around and, you know, make Melody Sugar the problem. And then people are going as far as to being friends with Martel Holt side chick because they don't like Melody Sheree to try to throw shade, to try to say all this and that. And it's just too much. I am sick of everybody not liking Melody Cherie for whatever petty reasons instead of being an adult and telling her to her face what your issue is with her instead of gossiping about her and looking online for any type of fake tea about her and spreading it and using it as a storyline to come on the show. You've got to do better than this. You guys complain when we come for reality TV stars, but these same reality TV stars do not want to hold themselves accountable when they're in the wrong. If you man up or woman up and say woman to woman what your issue is, that's one thing. But to just blatantly spread lies because you're jealous, to just blatantly slander somebody because you don't like the way that they reacted to something or you don't like the fact that they're choosing to distance themselves from you because you can't keep their name out of your mouths. And so your, uh, your rebuttal is to continue to attack them enough to where you feel that that will, you know, have them be so upset and so depressed that they'll just leave the show altogether. No, 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 no. This is Melody Cherie's baby. She is not going down without a fight. She is the responsible person for the ratings going up these past few weeks because she's finally being featured. And once again, it is back to the slander. And now people, again, are using their parents, are using their siblings who are not on the show to be the mouthpiece of the main cast, you guys. And, and we got to stop it. Either you man up and woman up and tell Melody Cherie to her face, outside of only the reunion taping, what you really feel and what your actual problem is with her. Otherwise, keep it cute and keep it mute and just remain an acquaintance with her and film together for, you know, whatever storyline purposes that are taking place. But this conjured up beef that starts from fake tea and jealousy and hatred and gossip among your group chat about Melody Cherie, it's not going to cut it, you guys. The viewers are not going to tune in for that because we see through the BS, right? So get it together and find something new to talk about. Find your own storylines. Tell us, I don't know. What's really going on in your lives, you guys? So there is that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.